Hey guys, Dave here. So I know with the giveaway and everything else, I haven't had much time to uh, cover a bunch of gear. So a bunch of gear has come in and uh, I'm just gonna cover it all right now uh, as quickly as possible and uh, kind of in the order uh, that it did come in. So uh, first um, I did grab another skull. I did put, uh, uh, what's it called? Pictures on Instagram, Terminator skull. It's pretty good size, a lot of detail. Um, it is not on the on his website, I don't think, but uh, if anybody's interested, I have contact information for him, and uh, it's Disturbed Earth. Uh, and I don't know if it's uh, www.disturbedearth.com or anything, but I have looked on the website. It is not on there. I had, uh, he follows me um, on YouTube and, uh, he had, uh, s bought something from me in a knife sale and, uh, he contacted me and asked me, he knows how much I like the, uh, lanyard beads. I already told him on the second one that I'm going to get that it definitely need a little bit larger hole. It is kind of small, but it will still work for a bunch of different things. And I can always, you know, drill the hole and make it a little bit larger myself. So, but a uh, lot of detail, really sweet, man. Look at the detail on that thing. So grab that. Happy to get that. Thank you, bud. Appreciate it. Um, next up, I grabbed a. Uh, I did a little trade, and I grabbed this Anzo carabiner from um, Blade Ramble. Thank you, bud. I appreciate it. Uh, we did a little swap. I am totally drawing a blank here. It has been the week from heck. And I can't even remember what I traded. That's how bad that is. That is horrible. I can't even remember. Let me see. What did I do? Oh, I traded the uh, Emerson that I got from uh, Carter. So, traded it right away. And uh, I've been looking to get one of these beaners. I wanted the other version with the uh, bottle opener. But uh, this one's sweet. And uh, I took it. I mean, it was a good trade. So I just, uh, you know, it was a great deal. He gets a knife he wants, I get something I want. And so I got that uh, Anzo carabiner. And then that same night snagged, I have been looking for one for a while. Uh, and I got this uh, Tom Krein TK2. Uh, tiny little knife, but even for such a small knife, just awesome. It is a, uh, I think the blade's only like two and a half inches long, S30V. You guys see, and this is called Pumpkin G10. Pretty sweet. Uh, definitely going to be getting more crying knives. This thing is just uh, great. I love this knife. And uh, yeah, I even had a couple offers to trade it or to buy it uh, right after I bought it. And I said, no, thanks. I, you know, first of all, I have to check it out. And then once I got it in my hand, I can see why people like them. It's because the knife is just awesome. So uh, yeah, I'm going to be on a lookout for a lot more crying knives. Um, next up, uh, I did grab a, uh, I traded off the DOC and picked me up another TAD SMF. I do like this knife a lot because of the digi, because of the swedge. You know, like I said, this is probably about as close as you can get to a mixed rider Custom without, you know, spending the really big bucks. And so I traded this and I got some cash in the deal too. And so mine, you know, already, uh... I already have my other one here, so this is just my little, hold on, I'll have to protect it because you guys know I got my, you know, go fudge, go fudge yourself uh, sticker on there in my Texas patch. So that's usually, you know, how it sits like that. So anyways, but I got a bunch of new um, patches and stuff. They came in yesterday. Um, but first off, I did get a couple of the uh, Direware Hyper 90s. I know a bunch of people, uh, I know, um, let's see, uh, Matt, the Thor 153 C, uh, C Knife Works, he had done a video on one already. But uh, this is actually bronze, kind of hard to tell because once you touch it, yeah, you can see there, once you touch it, you know, if your hands are oily or whatever, it gets, uh, I have not used the knife at all. It's brand new, but uh, Direware Hyper 90. M390 steel. The handle's kind of awkward. It's even for my big old paws. It's it's just it's got this tremendous amount of belly here on the handle, and the I don't know how the uh, measurement is, but I know that uh, Eric at Direware I think the specs say 0.18, but uh, because of the way the jimping is, you can see that it is actually very skinny, 
on top. Now in these little, you know, crevices, in the little, you know, valleys of the jimping, you can see that maybe it's a little bit thicker, but because of the way the jimping is on top, it feels a lot thinner. And that jimping is, is yeah, it's kind of rough, but the knife is awesome. I haven't decided, I did have two of these, I sold the first one, um, but I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with this one because uh, I do like this one a lot. I may sell it, I may not, but uh, take a little getting used to the knife. It definitely is great in the uh, choil position. Um, you know, uh, really good purchase in the choil position, but yeah, in this, in the back position or regular position, yeah, it's just kind of awkward, kind of weird. So, but just a tank of a knife, you guys can see how thick, awesome back spacer. Just a sick looking knife. And, uh, yeah, so definitely was happy to get that. And let's see, so... <laughs> Then yesterday I did, I grabbed a, just a bundle of uh, Tad Gear patches, pretty sweet, two of the same like that. I bought two different package deals, and so two of them are the same, Death Card, this is the one I was really after in the, in the Tad Gear patch. And then I got the, uh, there you go, Triple Lot, Momo and Labe, more Tad Gear patches and just really sick. It was a heck of a deal for all the patches that I got. So I already contacted the guy about getting more. So I got all that stuff. Um, trying to get through this as fast as possible, guys. There is something important. Uh, I'm gonna have a couple of things up for auction. Um, I bought, I won an auction on, uh, it was a fundraiser auction for a uh, uh, guy I had bought something from before off USN. Um, he and his uh, wife, they just had a tragedy. Their house got caught on fire, and uh, they were having a fundraiser. The one that I won was um, Alpha Hunter Tactical. Uh, a lot of people uh, know him, and, uh, and Jake Hoback. Uh, they teamed up together and had a kind of a prize package, and I, uh, I bid and won. And so I got a bunch of different things. Got this USN tag, 10 years. It's kind of tiny, but uh, really cool. Throw that on my keychain here pretty quick. I just wanted to show it first. But all this stuff all came in um, at different times. So, got this USN coin. Probably gonna hold on to that. Think it's pretty cool too. So I got that. I'll save these two for last. Another patch. This one's sweet, kind of a rubbery feel to it. I don't know if this glows in the dark. It, maybe it does. But uh, it's got the, you just peel it off and then you can stick it on anything. But that one's really sweet. Going to hold on to that. A uh, couple of Alpha Hunter. That's uh, his logo, Alpha Hunter Tactical Design. If you guys don't know, he does uh, knife collaborations uh, for people that aren't USN and, and uh, blade forms and stuff. He does uh, knife collabor. I think he's almost exclusively on USN. But... Uh, he has, uh, you know, uh, he done, uh, I haven't showed you guys a knife that I got, um, but I got a collaboration knife that he and uh, Dalibor Bergham did, and uh, uh, yeah, I can't wait to show you guys that. I actually have another knife coming in too, so I'm going to do those at the same time, but Alpha Hunter Tactical Design, um, he does lots of collaborations, um, and some great knives, just some uh, really great knives, so I'm going to probably go ahead and keep both patches, even though... Uh, I probably only need one, but I'm going to go ahead and keep them both because I probably will use them on something. So next up, I got uh, I got a, uh, hold on, I'll save one more. So then uh, uh, Jake's part of it, he made the Titanium Kiridashi. Now back when uh, Roman Legionnaire was having a uh, contest, he had a, a Kiridashi and I mean, that was, you know, guys, I'm probably not going to join a lot of contests because, you know, I'd rather somebody else win the prizes and stuff. I, uh, I buy so much stuff that I'd rather have somebody else win. So, but I definitely did want one. And so part of the reason that I wanted to get in on this auction was because uh, Jake had put up this uh, Kiridashi. And um, so just uh, so you know, there were actually two as part of it. So... I'm going to auction this off in hopes that, uh, you know, raise some more money and all this money, nothing will go to me. I am going to take the money as soon as you, whoever the high, high bidder is, uh, I will send that money immediately on to, um, uh, I don't want to say his name, but 
Uh, he's on USN. Um, if you guys, anybody that's on USN that doesn't know the story and stuff, they did lose their house in a fire. And I just figured I only need one, so why not auction one off, raise some more money. And uh, that way, if anybody's interested, but Titanium Cure Dashi by Jay Kobach. Just really sweet, and uh, I'm going to keep one, and then this one's going to get auctioned off. So uh, I'll talk about that in just a second. I also got a uh, Alpha Hunter. I got a bunch of hats from Alpha Hunter, so this one, khaki and uh, green, I'm going to auction this off as well. And um, and a shirt that you guys know me, I'm a big old boy, so I did get a uh, Alpha Hunter. It's orange with black logo, and then if you guys see on the back says God's Army on here and it's got the big logo on the back so there you can kind of see it I'm trying to show you all of it but it's so big uh, it is size large I believe yes it is size large I'll show you guys that and it is a heavyweight t-shirt I mean it's pretty it's got some pretty good weight to it so you know other than the little bit of shrinkage you know from washing it and drying it the first time it should be should hold its size and everything pretty good so what I'm going to do is, uh, in the comments, you know, of course comment like usual about anything that you've seen in the video and everything else, but if you're interested in the Kiridashi, or the uh, hat, you know, or the uh, t-shirt, just put your, just remember this is for, you know, I'm, I'm forwarding all the money guys, I'm not keeping anything from me, I'm just trying to help out where I can. Uh, you know, I gave, uh, what, two, I gave, I, I, it doesn't matter how much I gave for it, but that money went directly to him, and that's based on the generosity of Alpha Hunter and, uh, and Jay Kobach, and so I, I can't thank those guys enough, and I'm just trying to do whatever I can to help out in addition, so, uh, I did want some of the items from the, you know, auction, but at the same time, there are some items that I'm just not going to use, and, uh, I mean, I love the hat, I love the Kiridashi, I'd like to keep them both, but why not just, you know, do something good and help somebody out during a tough time. Uh, I think everybody should do that. So that's why I'm going to do. So in the comments, just put, uh, you know, your offer. Um, keep track of the comments. Um, whoever's offer is highest, uh, let's say on, uh, let's not have this go on forever. Let's just say Sunday night. Whoever's office is, uh, offer is highest at, uh, let's say, uh, 10 o'clock. Central Standard Time, 10 o'clock, 10 p.m. Central Standard Time, uh, then that's, um, you know, who whoever has the high bid at that time will win the item. So be generous. Uh, hopefully there's, you know, you want the hat or the t-shirt or the Kiridashi. I'm sure a lot of people would like to have a, you know, Hoback Kiridashi. And, you know, if you guys follow Alpha Hunter, I'm sure these are items you would love to have as well. So uh but just remember it's you know just trying to help somebody out all the money will go to um uh jay rickma that's uh his uh name on usn his uh call sign username jay rickma and i'm he knows i'm doing this this is not a surprise and i told alpha hunter and jake i was both going to be doing this so uh just trying to help out and do whatever i can so uh, you guys try to be as generous as possible. I understand they're not the you know most expensive items or anything, but uh, you know let's let's help somebody out who's having a tough time. I know lots of people are having a tough times, so I'm just trying to do uh, you know whatever I can. So uh, that's it for now. Um, like I said, just put what the item is you want to uh, place your bid on. Like let's say you want you know the Alpha Hunter hat ten dollars, okay, and then. You know, if somebody outbids you and says Alpha Hunter hat, $11. Just, you know, whatever it happens to be and just, it'll go like that. So just keep track of the comments and see what the high bid is. And, uh, of course, it'll be by date stamp, uh, you know, date and time stamp. And uh, that way you'll know who's doing what. But uh, Titanium Kiridashi, the t-shirt, and the uh, hat. Hat is one size fits all, you know, type of deal or should fit, one size fits most. But uh, I have a bunch of these hats. They're awesome. Actually, here's I wore this hat yesterday. So that'll tell you guys right there that, yeah, I love these. Uh, the hats are great, man. They kind of ride low, cover the ears good. I like the hats. So. But uh, that's it. You guys put it in the comments. Uh, of course, appreciate any other comments. And uh, I'll talk to you guys again soon. Um, I definitely have a video coming up tomorrow that I've been waiting to do for a while. And, um, and, uh, some people that are on Instagram already know what I'm going to be doing. So, uh, but I'll, uh, talk to you guys. Don't forget blood of Patriots on Instagram and, uh, I'll talk to you again soon. Everybody be safe.